what we're building is a hybrid electric vehicle and it has two DC motors similar to driver like an electric train. Uh, we have a small petrol motor, 36cc, driving a, a motor generator, uh, but your main power is your battery supply. The power you get out of it just depends on what voltage you want to run at that. It'll run from 12 volts up to 120 volts. It'll do well over 200 kilometres an hour, but that's not the limit of its speed. If we build a bigger one later and put more batteries, it'll go even faster. I mean, some of the inventions have been good. We sort of get them on the market and we sell a few things. Others that he makes, well, don't get us anywhere, but, you know, we keep on trying and or trying different things all the time. So it makes life interesting anyway. Hmm. This is a heavy duty scooter, it's not like a cheap kids thing, it's designed like that so that it just rests on the battery frame. This just simply runs a simple motor we designed with a roller on the wheels, there's no chains or belts. Uh, when you go you just have either button, you can go, off you go. And when you stop, you just stop like that. Oh, well, you still hope to get wealthy one day, <laughs> maybe, yeah. This is the hybrid electric outboard from Marine Use. Uh, the advantage over a normal outboard is that, first of all, the motors are a lot cheaper and they're more efficient, but the whole weight is way down. They're very reliable, there's only one moving part. Once the cowling's in place and the props underwater, you virtually hear nothing, they're very quiet. The beauty of the electric outboard, you can put much bigger props on if you like, because they've got tremendous power down low. We can build these electric outboards in any size you like. Well, they're virtually indestructible, last for years. They use simple gel cell batteries of any size you like, depending on the range you want. On big tourist boats, you can have uh, solar cells charging the battery while the sun's shining, you run for free. Uh, the motors should last 20 or 30 years. The battery's about five to 10 years. We're hoping that maybe we can find some partners to either buy the marketing rights or the manufacturing rights or both, and we can get them into production much quicker and bigger quantities if the market's there. We've proved that the designs work, we just now have to market them. That's the hardest part of anything now is marketing.